respect and peace i'm your host ultimate mayo 420 if you sweet people didn't know already and today we're going to be starting a fresh blind run of yet another game i've not played before on this channel as is usually the case in the form of the forgotten city on the pc on maximum settings i'm playing this game in stereoscopic 3d via nvidia 3d vision and this what you see right here is the on-screen display for the uh, stereoscopic settings so uh Imagine VR without the uh, Wii modes, and that's basically stereoscopic 3D. So I've got it set correctly. I'm going to press F2 now to get rid of the on-screen display for the 3D settings. And let's go ahead and check the uh, in-game settings now. Like, <clears throat> uh, we check video, and you can see that everything is pretty much set to maximum. Or at least should be set to maximum. We're playing in 1440p. A field of view is... Uh, I've, I've left it there for now, but where we, I've turned the motion blur off. And field of view is not quite 100%, but when we go in game, I'll uh, play with it a bit and um, I'll see where, where I like it. Uh, overall setting is m m epic, maximum, everything's on maximum, blah, 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 blah. And yeah, there we go. All right, so. Let's, uh, let's not waste any more time, baby. Part one of our blind run. The Forgotten City. This game has got so many good reviews on Steam. Like, I'm looking forward to... Uh, to seeing how this unfolds. So let's look on the right hand side here. There's that silly message. I'm doing a YouTube video anyway, so who cares? And yeah, let's click new game. <clears throat> message from the developers. This game was developed by a core team of three people over four years. Your support allows this is a mystery adventure with multiple endings. It rewards thoughtful conversation and exploration, not brute force. The fate of the city is in your hands. The present day. This game looks stunning in stereoscopic 3D, man. Ooh. Hey, you're alive. When I dragged you out of the river, I thought you were never going to wake up. I checked your river. pockets for Damn, ID, must be freezing. a phone, maybe. I hope you don't mind. But you all I found rub was me. some loose change. So, wanna tell me who you are? Okay. This Julius Caesar coin coming out the screen here, like. Oh, I get this. Easy. You can select male or female. All right, boom. A skin tone. Uh, yeah, player. We'll go with this. Boom. Save choices and continue. Well, it's nice to meet you. And I'm sorry to pry, but any idea why you were floating down the river? What's the last thing you remember? Okay, I was searching for ancient ruins. I was on a covert mission. <coughs> I was on the run from the law. Yeah, <laughs> that's one. Word, that, that's a good way to start chatting her up, isn't it? Like, she's gonna be interested in that, isn't she? That like, I barely remember anything. Okay, your recent head trauma has increased your pain threshold, making you fifty percent harder to take down. Amnesia. All right, here we go. Hmm. I barely remember anything. Here's the thing, like, I, I don't know anything, man. So, yeah, we'll go with this one. I barely remember anything. It does look like you took a pretty hard blow to the head. You're just lucky you've been given a second chance. Which is why I feel terrible for what I'm about to say, but... I have a favor to ask. Oh, well, here we go. There are some ruins just behind you. Roman, I think. I need you to go in there and see if you can find a guy named Al for me. He went in there a few hours ago, and he hasn't come out. I've been freaking out, wondering if he's trapped, or injured, or worse. I would have gone in after him, but he made me promise to stay here, no matter what. There's no way I'm leaving without him. So I'm just kind of... stuck here, waiting. I need... what I mean is, I was hoping you wouldn't mind going in there to find him? Are you serious, girl? I can get both of you back to civilization in my boat. Please? So, she mentions a ruin, and one of our well, ru ruins, and, like, one of the responses we had was, 
um, we, we were we were looking for the ruins, or maybe I should have selected that, or uh, maybe he was. I don't know, man. Maybe that was the right answer. I'm guessing that was the right answer, man. Anyway, mind if I ask some questions first? Yo, Senator, what's going on? Amnesia plot? What is this? 2008? Nah, bro. This is the Skyrim engine, or at, at least this 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 is a mod for Skyrim that was then transported to uh, Unreal Engine 4. <clears throat> oh, of course. Sorry, I don't mean to be pushy. I just. What do you want to know? Okay, what's your story? Who is Al? Where are we? What can you tell me about the ruins? Have you tried calling for help? Alright, so Seville says, Okay, let's be real. The reason I don't want to move to the UK is because you're scared of universities themselves. I mean, Mr. Nutcase studied in the UK. I'm scared on that oh, of the, the love of <laughs> uh, Well, you know, it... it if you don't want to come to the UK, no, 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 you know, you don't have to force yourself, you know. You don't have to force yourself, my brother. All right, let's see. Uh, let's ask more. Let's ask her some questions. What's your story? Yeah, let's get some background info on this speech. Oh, there's not much to tell. What do you mean there's not much to tell? Like I've spent my whole life in a dead end job with an endless commute. Know what I mean? I know what you mean. Okay, you're not even going to tell me your name. Oh, uh. I'd rather not say if it's all the same to you. You'd rather not tell me? What a bitch. Why don't you want to tell me? I'd really like to know, especially if I'm going to be helping you. Why Why don't you want to tell me? Alright, fine. Sorry if I sounded cagey. It's just that I don't always get the best reactions when I introduce myself. My name's Karen. Karen, huh? It's the mod turned to a game. Yeah, yeah, people like them the mod so much that um, the, the, I think they got approached by like some publishers, and uh, they actually turned it into a full-fledged game of, of, of itself. Same thing happened with uh, Killing Floor. Killing Floor, if you remember, was a mod for Unreal Tournament 2004, before like that Tripwire company approached like the team of modders and um, turned it into a fully-fledged game. And then they made Killing Floor 2 in Unreal Engine 3. Anyway. Okay, well, thank you for saving my life, Karen. Why didn't you want to tell me your name? All those, all those Karen memes <laughs> have really ruined that name, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, something like that. But right now, I have bigger problems, like finding Al. Yeah, so who is Al? Of course she's a Karen and not telling anything. Dude, I doubt that I doubt that's even a real name. I doubt that's even a real name, man. He's the guy who washed up on the riverbank not long before you did. What? I thought maybe you two knew each other. I guess not. But maybe the two of you can piece together what you're doing here. In any case, you'll like him, I'm sure. Once you find him, that is. What the hell? So there was another guy that washed up on shore and she sent him to the cave and now he's gone missing and now she wants me to go and find that guy okay where are we you really don't remember we're in Italy this river is the Tiber this river is the Tiber we're in Italy aha uh -huh. what can you tell me about the ruins not much really but imagine what you might find in there priceless ancient artifacts Al Al, she seems to be obsessed with this Al guy. Is he her husband or something? Now? Have you tried calling for help? What am I, an idiot? You could hike a long, long way in any direction and never find another soul. Trust me. Never find another soul. Oh, my goodness. That's all the questions Great. I have. So you're ready to go look for Al? Alright, I'm in. Uh, I'm going in for the priceless artifact, but I'll keep an eye out for him. I'll pass. All right, I'm, I'm going in for the priceless artifacts, but I'll keep an eye out for it. My hero. The entrance is just past those columns behind you. Oh, and he left this here. But I think you'll need it more than I will. What is this? A flashlight. Boom. Okay. 
heavy duty powered uh, flashlight. Drag item examine. Wee, wee, wee. Oh, wait, you guys can't see it, can you? Uh, there was a button. Let me bring this in here like that. Okay, now you should be able to see it in the middle of the screen. This is coming out the screen door. <laughs> this is like waving in my face. This is bad. This is bad. Um, now let's uh, take the item to that. We use the WS80. He's to move around. Need Back to already. What's up? I was hoping to ask some more questions. Oh. Of course. What did you want to know? Mm. Have you tried calling for help? What can you tell me about Not the rules? much, really. But imagine what. And you do you get more He's options? He's the guy who washed. But in any case, you'll like him. Great. So once you've made your selections, thanks again. You can't go back and make make more selections, but. Al is basically a colored person minding his own business and Karen already called the cops and said he's breaking into his own property. And yes, it's a common thing in USA that. <laughs> uh, slow down, slow downs. The ruins are just beyond those columns. Please, hurry. Search for clues about our whereabouts. I actually like the uh, the detail in this game. Although it does look very Skyrimish to me, man. Don't you think? Press F2 here. Okay. Separation, convergence, convergence, low convergence, preset toggle. Hold down the dash key or the up key. Where, which key is that? That funny key. Who's this one? Out plus this. Oh, so if I press out on this, it's not gonna work. Hot depth settings. Current depth settings. Control plus F3 plus F4. Control plus F5 and F6. An error code while saving. This could be result of insufficient drive space or a corrupted installation. Please ensure there is sufficient space reliable on your device. What? Saving. Game starts glitching, then yes, it's Skyrim engine, all right. No, I think it, the mod was for Skyrim, but then what they did was they transported the assets into Unreal Engine when they got when when they got a publishing deal. So I think this is actually running in uh, our Unreal Engine. Uh, F2 for the, for the on-screen display. So this, so if I press F2, turns this on and off. Uh, uh, restore Convergence F10. 
because I noticed that when you access the menu items, the convergence is completely different. Like some of the items will come off screen then, and you guys won't be able to see. So I need I need to get the settings right for each situation. What's this backpack? All right, let's uh, let me let me get rid of this actually. Wait, boom. If you reach nothing. this, it means I've discovered the entrance to an ancient Roman city hidden deep underground. Its existence is long forgotten. All knowledge of it lost, except in the Latin inscription here. It reads, You who wish to enter the city, step forth and be judged. The virtuous shall be rewarded with eternal life in paradise. The wicked shall find themselves showered in gold, but in vain. For this shall be their final resting place. Could an underground city have remained a secret for all this time? Could people have survived down there, against the odds? It seems there's only one way to find out. Yo, this is deep, man. If I'm not back in an hour, I'm somewhere on the other side. Consider this an invitation. Or a warning. Al Worth. Al Worth. So that's his name, Al Worth. A backpack full of worn hiking clothes and empty food packets. Nothing valuable here, but still, it, see it seems strange that Al left it behind. Uh, mm, a drag item. So, so now, now I've got to lower the mouse wheel down. Now I can actually see it. Sorry, not the mouse wheel. The, 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 I have this uh, this convergence thing. It's connected to my computer via USB. It has a scroll wheel on it, and I can adjust the image like. Okay, so there's nothing peculiar about this, although it's floating out my screen. <laughs> uh, let's uh, can't take it with us, so we're gonna have to leave it behind. Can we read the note again? If you're reading this, it means. I've discovered the entrance to an ancient Roman city, hidden deep underground. Its existence is long forgotten, all knowledge of it lost, except in the Latin inscription here it reads, You who wish to enter the city, step forth and be judged. The virtuous shall be rewarded with eternal life in paradise. The wicked shall find themselves showered in gold, but in vain, for this shall be their final resting place. Damn. That's deep, man. Could an underground city have remained a secret for all this time? Could people have survived down there, against the odds? It seems there's only one way to find out. If I'm not back in an hour, I'm somewhere on the other side. Consider this an invitation or a warning. I'll worse. Alright, let's go. Let me, let me just see if there's anywhere else for us to uh, investigate. It doesn't look like there is, though. It looks like this is a one-way trip, man. Alright, so... Seville says... I mean, they said we can cover up, up over 75% of costs. I have to work hard and get some licenses. The process may take two to three years. I have no other option, though. I must go to UK. Well, if you want to study, well, then, and you really want to study it bad, then you you got to go to the UK, man. There's no point being scared. I don't know what you're scared of, bro. And the senator says, I hope they change the plot from the mod a bit. The mod was amazing. Oh, so you've played this already. What's going on? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Whoa! whoa, whoa! Worth is the banished brother of Miles Edgeworth. Who is Miles Edgeworth? Bro, please, no spoilers, man. But I've not played this, man. I just know that was a mod for Skyrim. Uh, find the entrance to the secret city.
Miles Edgeworth is from Ace Attorney. Oh, I haven't played Ace Attorney, man, but I've heard good things about it. Man. You guys should know by now that chances are I haven't played the game, man. I should know this. Alright. I'm loving the art style in this game, man. This, this is Ted's style. What, what language is that? Kurdic Hisne. Uh, use to raise your flashlight. Oh, yeah. He has an electric penis. And come the light everywhere. Oh. Mm. Inspect a golden statue. A young Roman woman in a pose of a lamentation. What the? He just moved his head. Oh, hang on a second. Hang on a second. The the note said that the evil will be showered in gold, but in vain, because for this will be their final resting place. Meaning they get turned to gold, man. This kind of reminds me of that level in the original Tomb Raider, like where there's the, in Palace Midas, where there's that hand. And if you if you uh, stand on the hand, you get turned to gold and you die. Mosaic inspect. Ancient Roman mosaic depicting a godlike figure turning a man into gold. Yeah, there there is a Roman story about this, isn't it? Like an ancient Roman story, like where there was this guy who, who 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 wished he could touch anything and it turned to gold and when he did he, he turned to gold and started getting pissed off. Didn't Rome people spoke Latin? I don't know man. I mean didn't they speak Romanish that? Okay, pro pectavnis meltivis dolbevent. I don't know how to read that man. Okay, a Latin pl plaque which gives its position seems important, if only I could read Latin. Yeah, if only I could read Latin, man. King Midas. Oh, oh, the, oh that's what it was called, yeah? So, because I remember the level being called Palace Midas, like, in the original Tomb Raider game. Like. Okay, a Roman gladiator mid-stride. What could have made a gladiator flee? He's running away, the building's coming down, and they all get turned to gold. Open sesame, let's go. Loading the game here. Ooh. Some minor texture pops there. Let me actually save the game. No save, baby. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh. A young Roman woman, it looks like she was begging for her life. No, no, no. Don't turn me to gold. Okay, like, you see this? Here, right? These particle effects are like flying out the screen, it's mad, and it, may, it, cre it creates the, the kind of visual illusion that you're there, man. It's sick. Uh, Romans were perverts, man, that's all. I mean, Greece people fought for honor. Ro Romans w just wanted more pussy. <laughs> Oh yeah, there was that story about the um, the people of Pompeii, you know. They got turned to they got turned to stone because they were so evil, like. And then and, and they actually because they actually found what by excavating like in in that city of Pompeii, they found the people turned to stone, like. They actually found it, like. It's mad, man. A classic old one pushing women off the stairs. <laughs> Ahem Prohiba, press use F5 to quick save and F9 to quick load. Alright. 
saving boom shakalaka Pompeii was the volcano one yeah but that's what turned them to to stone though right the pressure of the volcano blast was so was so intense the the volcano blast was just so mad that like it 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 pushed like this 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 kind of chemical through 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 their skin and they got turned to stone somehow like it's mad man like in an instant like it Roman military commander attempting to scramble away from something. Golden statue. A Roman legionary in a state of terror. Yeah, let's push him over, man. Move, bruh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, boom. <laughs> Make him do a roly poly, like, no, please. No. <laughs> Oh, I'm bitch slapping. <clears throat> Shit, these people were like fucking scared in the moment, man. A Roman woman who appears to be praying for help that never came. Ah, oh, the help is here, baby. Oh, yeah. Let's bang that bold on ass. <clears throat> a poor guy in Pompeii got petrified mid-dirty work. Now everyone in the world knows what he got got off to that. Oh, there were some sinful there, there were some sinful acts, man, that they caught them in, like when they uncovered the stones, like of Pompeii, man. That was mad. Okay, a hanging golden statue. A golden statue of an old man wearing modern clothing. This must be out. But how is that possible? What? How does he know that this must be Al? A gold... Oh, because he's wearing modern clothing, that's why. A golden statue of a man wearing modern clothing. This must be Al. Shit. Oh, crap. Oh, we can get hurt by the fire. Damn. Ali boy got wrecked. GG for him, he got turned to stone as well. To whoever reads this... I'm sorry you had to find me like this. And worse, she'll suffer the same fate I did. What? I spent a lifetime in this place, going around and around in circles, searching for a way out. The inscription was right. There is no way back. And here there are only two options. Death, and that godforsaken doorway into the past. I made the mistake of stepping through it. I wanted to set things right, and I tried. I really tried. Whatever I did, it took me right back to the beginning. Don't make the same mistake. Better to end it all now, and find out what awaits you beyond that portal. Where was he reading that from? Young Roman woman in state of panic. Oh. <clears throat> Updated. Find the doorway into the past. Golden statue. A Roman man on his knees as if begging his gods for mercy. Ugh. What the? This is like the same room, but with like different, different stuff in it, man. That we just stepped in that. Whoa! Oh, this looks sick in 3D. Woohoo! Loading the game. 
Majima says, Romans were just pure evil, man. They had sex slaves, housewife slaves, gladiator stuff. I mean, Greece people did slavery for some time, but it stopped after Alexander took over the Middle East. You think? Updated main goal, forget me not. Step through the doorway into the past. Main goal completed, forget me not. What the hell? Figure out how to return to your original time. That's the main goal now. A Roman relief depicting a great circular portal and two women. I wonder who they could be. Okay. Let's take an apple, man. Oh, you can you can expect you can inspect the picture, but you can't inspect the bloody apples, lah. What the? This is like the same place, but this this guy. Uh, salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? The Shrine of Proserpina? Who's Proserpina? Okay. I'm Ultimate Melfor 20 and I've just come from the future. Wait, are you speaking English? <laughs> are you speaking English, bro? I'm Ultimate Melfor 20 and I got lost. Yeah, are you speaking English, bruh? What happened to Latina? Uh, what? I'm speaking Latin. You are too, although your accent's a little strange. Oh, I see what you did there, changing the subject like that. Nice try, but I'll ask again. Who are you, and what were you doing in the shrine? So they still think they're speaking Latin at, at the same time. At the same time, you seem to be able to speak Latin now. I'm Ultimate Mel for 20 Agolos. Shrine of Prasprina. Yeah, you know, agricultural goddess of springtime. You're not from around here, are you? And you've just done it again. You're a sly one, aren't you? One more time. Who are you and what were you doing in that shrine? Yeah, I'm Ultimate Mel for 20 and I got lost. Alright, let's tell him the truth then, man. <laughs> what you're talking about oh wait are you a bit you know not right in the head <sighs> that's all right friend everyone's welcome here okay seriously what's today's date yeah man let's start with that we sort of lose track of the date down here but it feels like the beginning of spring to me so i'd say early march what year it's 817 auc 817 Sorry, <laughs> shit 817 years since the founding of Rome which part of the empire are you from exactly 817 AUC what okay that doesn't help me is this before or after Christ <laughs> oh man never mind of course I knew that that doesn't help me is this before or after Christ hey not so loud just saying that name could land you in trouble here his cultists burned down half of Rome last year. Horrible business. I heard Nero executed some of them, but a lot of people are still angry with them. Even down here. So, if you're one of them, keep it to yourself. But listen, most folks seem a bit confused when they get here. But you... You seem very lost. And in more ways than one. So, let me make this nice and simple for you. Live by our law here, and we'll all get along just fine. Your laws? What the hell are you talking about, man? What laws are you on about, bruh? Not laws. Law. There's just one. The golden rule. And the punishment for breaking, it's... Well, it's kind of horrific. But our magistrate insists we take all newcomers to see him. So, I guess I'll let him fill you in. So then, are you coming? No thanks, I'll make my own way. Look, you seem like you might need a little extra help, and I'd feel a lot more comfortable if I showed you the way. Don't worry about me, I know what I'm doing. Alright friend, suit yourself. Just don't do anything too reckless till you've spoken with Magistrate Sentius in his villa down there. See you around. Learn about the Golden Rule.
All right, let's press F five. Let's save the game here, man. Boom. We should save regularly, like. All right, no worries, man. No worries. Oh wow, you didn't die. Okay. <laughs> I thought you would have died, man. I just wanted to do that for jokes. Let's go through here now. What the hell? Yeah, like I said, like they, they, they've they've put this they've put this in Unreal Engine now, man. But it was a mod for Skyrim initially, that. They knocked this over, like. Slap that ass. Boom. So far, I like how it's no grind and all interaction that, and choices that I'm liking that so far, man. And I like the setting as well. Like, And the level of detail is very good. The texture design very, very good as well. And it looks amazing in 3D as well, like, but uh, there's that too. Where are we going? Maybe I should have just followed that guy. Mm. So far, it's exactly the same as the mod, except the civilization name. You mean the name, the, the name of this place, or the name of the people? It probably will be exactly the same as the mod. I don't think they would have changed much. I mean, they they called the engine modern storyteller. Like. This is a maze. Uh, this look this looks like it has promise. Let's go this way. Everyone's turned to gold. Like that dude was the only guy that wasn't gold, man. Oh, are some live people now. Prototype. Like someone has been hard at work on a prototype zip line. Galerius's chest. Denarius seven. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. What the fuck? Many shall suffer for the sins of the war. What? what? Hey! We must get to the shrine. Serenius. What the fuck? Magistrate Sentius. Hmm. 
Rooms present in Audible Fur. What the f You got bodies. Oh, we gotta start this again. Follow Sentius back to the shrine and use his portal again. So every time you make a mistake, it sets you back. Uh, salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the shrine of Proserpina? I'm Ultimate Melfort 20. If we've had this conversation before. Uh, I don't think so. I've never seen you before in my life. Oh my days. Your name is Galerius and you're about to offer to take me to see Sentius so he can tell me about the Golden Rule. Oh, Bacchus, how much did I drink last night? Uh, sorry to have bothered you. <laughs> Shit. No problem. I have to go. Oh, and since you seem to be in a hurry, you should try out this device I made. Worked real hard on it. Zip line handler, a rudimentary wooden zip line handlebar. Just attach the pulley to the rope over the lake and hang on to the handles. If it works, it'll be faster than walking. And if it doesn't work, worst thing that can happen is you'll take a swim in the lake. I haven't quite summoned the courage to test it myself. Pussy. But don't worry, it's completely safe. Probably. You haven't even tested this. How do you know it's safe, bro? All right. See you around. Okay, trial and error, like remember 12 minutes back some months ago. Yeah, yeah I remember that, man. I had, we had some good fun with that game. I'm just trying to make sense of what's going on here at the moment. Like, it's so... We we stole some coins and, it's, and, it, and like, we, we saw that Sentius guy run run to the portal. He did a prayer and... And then... He seemed to reset everything, man. Let's talk to him now, man. Ah, it's you again. Hope you're settling in, friend. Now, what's on your mind? What's your story? Do you know a way out of here? <laughs> what do you think about the Golden Rule? What's your story? Well, it's a long one and kind of sad, but I don't mind telling it. I have the time. I'm a farmer. Always have been. Farm boy! In a small village in Britannia, Camulodunum with my parents and two little sisters. Lovely part of the world. One day, when I was about 20, my father and I were in the top paddock, loading our cart, when some Roman legionaries came along, demanding produce for their men. My father told me to run into the house for his axe, and so I did. I sprinted so fast I almost threw up, but by the time I got back, he was bleeding out on the ground, and our cart was empty. That was my first encounter with the legions. My mother died of a broken heart soon after, and things went downhill from there. I took over the farmstead, but I was young. It was a struggle. More raiding started before too long. We'd come outside in the morning to find animals missing, our stores pillaged. These legion thugs just took whatever they wanted. One night, when my sisters and I had nothing left to steal, there was a knock at the door. I knew who they were, and what they wanted. I got my father's old axe, pulled the door open real quick, and before that soldier knew it, split his face right down the middle. Ooh, but damn. there were more of them. I never saw how many, because the next thing I knew, I was waking up with a mouth full of dirt and lungs full of smoke. My home was reduced to ash. My sisters, dead. And they left me alive to see what they'd done. Still burns whenever I think about it. Man, that's our long ass story, man. He wasn't lying when he said it was a long one. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, bruh. Yeah, well, I wasn't the only one this happened to. It 
wasn't long before Boudicca led thousands of Britons in a rebellion against the Romans. Unfortunately, there were just too many of them. And those of us who survived, they enslaved. So, then I found myself being transported all the way to Rome to be sold to the highest bidder. I spent a few years working for my new master, learning the Romans' ways, Romanized my name and everything. Tried to escape a couple of times, but they always found me, and I'd just end up right back where I was. I'd probably still be there, too, if it wasn't for the stampedes breaking out. You see, about seven months ago, an enormous fire broke out in Rome. Everybody was running down toward the river, screaming Seven months ago, yeah? Never seen anything like it. Human beings acting like cattle. I got swept up with them somehow, and the rest is a blur. The next thing I knew, some stranger was dragging me out of a river. What? Stumbled across this place and started my life over again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Someone, some stranger dragged him out of a river? That's exactly what happened to my character, like. And then you find this place. I'm glad things worked out in the end. Let's talk about something else. Oh, I'm sorry to bore you, friend. Are we out of here? Well, as much as I'd love to get out of here, the harvest's always more fruitful in another man's field, isn't it? But Scintilla, Sentius' daughter, went missing a few weeks back. Could be she found a way out. If anyone knows for sure, it'll be her sister, Sentia. But she'd never tell the likes of me. What do you think about the Golden Rule? Oh, I don't give it much thought these days. I mean, everybody here has got their own view about what we need to do to survive. But I say, let's spend less time arguing about what it means to be good and just get on with it, you know? Okay, I'll be going now. Alright, see you around. Oh yeah, I can tell he's British, supposedly. But... What's this? Ni kuvit favania, nolle sinse nolle. Don't steal anything, don't hurt anyone, don't. Whoever wrote this it didn't get a chance to finish, evidently. You can't hurt anybody and you can't steal nothing. Alright, so th that's probably why the place went bulls up like bulls up crazy when I stole the money. This is him again. Ah, it's you again. Hope you're settling in for now. All right. Ah, he doesn't seem to have nothing new to say. Thea is greeting, citizen. My name's Horatius. Magistrate Sentius asked me to escort you to him personally. Follow me, please. Another escort? Bloody hell. Okay, what's this about? I expect the Magistrate wants to brief you about the Golden Rule. It shouldn't take too long. He's busy preparing for the election later today. There's gonna be an election? Alright, lead the way. The only thing you really need to understand right now is the Golden Rule. Let me see if I can explain it this way. When I was serving in the Legion, if there was a mutiny brewing in one cohort, the legate in charge wouldn't waste time finding the bad apples among hundreds. They just divided us into groups of ten, made us draw straws, and whoever drew the short straw had to be executed by the other nine. Didn't matter whether he'd done anything wrong. One of us in ten would die for the crimes of the collective. We call it decimation. If that seems like rough justice to you, you're in for a rude shock. Because the golden rule is exactly ten times worse. The magistrate can explain the rest. The golden rule. This place has become Ooh. a thoroughfare. Oh yeah, Roman ladies, yeah. Come on, baby. Let's stretch that pussy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Alright, so this uh, magistrate guy is up here. That. <laughs> Let's save the game. Oh, there's a note here. Note from Sentilla. Sentilla expresses gratitude to Sentius for adopting her. S 
Centila to Centius, may Jupiter Optimus Maximus continue to protect and guide you. Thank you for making me your daughter and for the lovely birthday pendant. I promise we'll always wear it, always. I feel so safe and fortunate to have you as my father and Centia as my sister. I sense you've been feeling apprehensive about the election next month, but if you can just show them the strong and dependable man I know you to be, you will be re-elected, I am sure of it. Okay, decimation was real. And if you ask me for these kind of games, I like making notes and maybe even draw the connections on my whiteboard. You like making notes, yeah? Yeah, I'm not against making notes. Oh. Yeah. You can't steal anything. Alarium inspect. A small household shrine where ancient Romans offered daily prayers for protection. So we can't take anything. If we can't take anything, how are we supposed to solve puzzles stuff? Alright, let's go. I'm guessing, guessing they give you stuff. Magistrate Sentius. We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? Um, ultimate meal for 120. A curious name. Mm hmm, very Much curious, a huh? Curious accent. But I digress. Now, you're probably wondering why I summoned you, and I'll get to that. But first, take a look at this wondrous place, would you? A secret city built deep in the mountains many hundreds of years ago. I just want to get out of here. <laughs> It's beautiful. Indeed. More importantly, consider the miraculous community we've built here over the last seven months. Seven months? Twenty-two complete strangers brought together by the fates, living and working together in our own little paradise. And in all that time, not a single sin has been committed. No fights, no theft, nothing. Have you ever witnessed something so extraordinary as a city without sin? A city without sin? Pfft. Can't say I have. Nor could I, until I came here. But the reason for this, this miracle, is as simple as it is terrifying. If even one person commits a sin here, every last one of us will die. What? You see... The builders of this place, whoever they were, left inscriptions warning the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. From what we can gather, breaking the law here will anger the gods and provoke a terrible punishment. Like the curses of Medusa and Midas combined, turning us all to gold. Oh. I've come to call it the Golden. It's extraordinary that we've survived oh, as long damn. as we have, and each day I grow more and more afraid that our time in the sun is almost up. And now it seems that day is finally here. All that matters is that somebody in this city is about to break the golden rule. Why else would Proserpina send you now? Unless you and I can stop them, our doom is assured. I know that's a lot to take in, and you look like you have questions. Please, ask away. Oh, we have questions indeed. Let's go. Oh. <coughs> All right, then. <coughs> what counts as a sin here? An intelligent question. There was a good deal of debate about that in our first weeks here. Does it refer to crimes or to some other ill-defined wrong? Of course, everyone agrees on the basics. No theft, no assault, and certainly no murder. But beyond that, it was more difficult to reach a consensus. What about lying, insulting someone, blasphemy, trespass, trying to escape, bribery, infidelity, suicide? Infidelity. As magistrate, <laughs> I had to exercise leadership, and so I made a decision. We must uphold the laws of the Empire to a standard never before seen. 
And we must honor the peace of the gods, the sacred accord between the gods and the people of Rome. It is only by offering the gods the proper respect that we may prosper, as Rome has for centuries. It makes sense to me. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. What is legal isn't always moral, and many of your laws and customs are considered barbaric where I'm from. Yeah, man. Boom. What is legal isn't always moral. Exactly, man. Exactly. Well said. Let's click that shit. the most civilizing force in the known world. Rome is a beacon of light in the darkness. For 800 years she has borne great statesmen, philosophers, poets, artists, and engineers. We have comprehensive laws protecting the rights of our citizens, which have unified countless warring tribes all across the Mediterranean and beyond, from Gallia to Judea. All our citizens are treated the same, regardless of the color of their skin or their sexual preference. Can you say the same? When our people are starving, they are given food rations. And when they are wronged, they have the right to bring the guilty party before the magistrate. Our laws forbid treason, murder, assault and rape, as well as theft and arson and so on. No other civilization in the world is so advanced, and you have the the hubris to call us barbaric <clears throat> ah, my mistake don't your laws allow slave ownership yeah man don't your people watch blood sports for entertainment don't women have fewer rights than men don't you persecute christians don't you practice collective punishment don't your people watch blood sport for entertainment yeah we'll ask about the slavery man what else would we do with those prisoners of war who would otherwise have been executed? And besides, there are laws for their protection as well. Yep, exactly as the mod, but with Roman Empire. Okay. Don't your people watch blood sports for entertainment? On occasion, but our gladiators are almost all volunteers seeking glory, or condemned prisoners who would have been executed anyway. I do not see the harm. But this doesn't make sense. If nobody in the city can can sin, how do they have prisoners then? You know, there should be zero crime, zero, absolute zero. So they shouldn't have any criminals. Okay, don't women have fewer rights than men? Of course, but with fewer rights come fewer responsibilities and the right to be protected by their fathers and husbands. Christians? Uh, you mean the blasphemous cult responsible for burning down half of Rome last year? It's hard to blame the people for being angry about that. Don't you practice collective punishment? Are you talking about our practice of decimation? Of course. We could hardly unite all these warring tribes without a disciplined, formidable legion. Where I'm from, we consider those things to be apart. Well, right now, you're a long, long way from home. I have made my pronouncement on the subject. Unfortunately, there are still those here who resist, whispering blasphemous and treasonous lies in the shadows. I would be keeping a close eye on them if I were you. Right. What did you mean when you said, Prosepina sent me? You see... In my search for a way to save my people, I learned of an ancient ritual to Proserpina, the goddess of the cycle of life and renewal. It's said to open a doorway in time, so that if the unthinkable happens, one person can pass through it and travel back to the past. And when I saw you arrive in a flash of light from the goddess's shrine, I knew that person was you. You don't belong in our time, do you? Hmm. You're right. I'm from 2,000 years in the future. 2,000 years? That is unfathomable. Please, tell me, in your time, what did you see? What had become of us, of this city? 
And you'd all been turned into golden statues. <laughs> How does the ritual work? All I can tell you is that it's a ritual sacrifice to Proserpina. I stumbled across instructions. A sacrifice. I have to recite a prayer, and of course, as with all rituals, some sacrifice is involved. Usually that means wine or food, or in some cases, a live animal. In this case, the sacrifice is rather more costly. The life of the person performing the ritual. I don't suppose you saw any sign of me in the future? I did see human remains in the temple. Ah, I assume that was me. If I'm forced to perform the ritual, it's going to cost me everything. You'll try to make sure I don't need to use it, won't you? Uh, I kind of made you use it before. <laughs> I made you use it already, man. Ah, I can't promise nothing. Well, thank you for your candor, I suppose. Why can't you just... Well, I believe you're in the best position to go around asking people questions. You're new here, and it'll seem perfectly normal. As for me, well, it pains me to say my attempts to impose order have not earned me many friends. I fear I may not even remain magistrate after today's election. The people here would only treat my curiosity with suspicion. You shouldn't have that problem, though. Unless, of course, you get off on the wrong foot. Hmm, fair enough. There's an election today. So who's the other candidates, then? Now, do you have any suspects? Do you ever stare at a problem for so long that you can't see it for what it is anymore? What's needed here is a fresh pair of eyes. The less I prejudice the independence of your investigation, the better. Fair enough. Okay, how do I know you're not the person responsible? Me? Why would you suspect me? I've just told you. I'm about to sacrifice my own life to ensure these people have a second chance. He's got a point there. What reason could you possibly have to suspect me of all people? And we've seen him do it as well. Like, That's a fair point. <laughs> hey, Night Willow Fox, welcome back to the stream. How are you doing? It's good to see you in the house. We're playing this game, The Forgotten City. It's, uh, it's very enthralling, I must say. you think so without trust without each other we won't be able to prevent what is about to happen come on tell me what you think really well all right there are those who wish to vote me out of office so that they can pursue their own misguided political agenda frankly their selfishness and recklessness risk destabilizing the entire city I would be looking very carefully at them if I were selfishness you. and recklessness. Okay, she says, I am okay and you sweet, sweet. I'm good, thanks. Thank you for asking. <laughs> well what you been up to like? What you been playing? Let's ask him some more questions. Okay. Why can we why can we understand each other? I don't speak Latin. You mean you could question speak Latin actually. before you arrived here? How strange. But the gods are active here, and their temples and shrines hum with power like nowhere else in the Empire. Perhaps when Proserpina brought you here, she planted the seed of Latin in your mind so that you could better serve her. Perhaps. An unbeliever then? If you come up with a better explanation, I'll be interested to hear it. Mm -hmm. All right, some more questions then. If I do this, will you help me get back to my own time? Senator says, okay, we got some sub some suspects. The political rival so far. Hmm, good point, man. Night Willow says, uh, Sukoiden, Fairy Fencer F, Final Fantasy X, female only run. Ooh, Final Fantasy X, female only run, yeah? How's that going for you? Fairy Fencer F, I need to, uh, I've, I've heard, I've heard about that game. What kind of game is that? And Sukoden was on the PS1, if I remember correctly, like. 
Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that was a PS1 Japanese RPG. Okay, if I do this, will you help me get back to my own time? Yeah. If I understand Persephone's ritual correctly, that problem should take care of itself. Let me see if I can explain. If you manage to prevent the sin that breaks the golden rule, I won't need to bring you here. I won't create the portal, and you will never have been able to come here. Thus, you'll have created a paradox. If this occurs, you should be flung back to your own time, having changed the past for all of us. Make sense? What the hell? Figure out how to return to your original time. Point of origin. I don't get it. Wait, he, he was the one who, who brought me here? And if I solve this problem, we get flung back. We get flung back to our own time. That that makes no sense, man. And Night Willow says, Yeah, Sukodon is a PS1 game. Very Fencer F is a Japanese RPG. It is funny and interesting. The female run is going okay. Okay, sweet, sweet. Well, um, I swear there's more than one Fairy Fencer game, but there's another one as well, isn't there? Like, Okay, uh, I think so. I'm sure. Why? I'm gonna go with I think so, because I, I didn't really catch what he said, man. I didn't really understand that. Alright, that's all the questions I had. Seems like there's nothing else for me to ask him, but... If I do this, will you help me get back to my own time? Okay, if I understand ask. Persephone's ritual correctly, that problem should take care of itself. Let me see if I can explain. If you manage to prevent the sin that breaks the golden rule, I won't need to bring you here. So he brought me I here. Won't create the portal, and you will never have been able to come here. Thus, you'll have created a paradox. If this occurs, you should be flung back to your own time, having changed the past for all of us. Make sense? Oh, wow. Okay, I know that there is two, but it is the same game with just extra storyline from what I am understanding from others. Oh, okay. So it's just a re-release of the original game then. I know I know there was two games, but I thought one was a sequel to another one. I wasn't aware that it was just like an enhanced version of the first game. Alright, Senator says, just a warning then. If it exactly as the mod, but with Romans, the game is timed and probably have to use the rewind a bunch of times before solving. Oh, so there's going to be some backtracking that. We're going to have to go through it then, aren't we? That. All right, I think that's enough questions for oh, now. Good. So, are you with me? Can I count on you to figure out who's about to break the golden rule? So that's what we have to do. We have to find out who's going to break the golden rule, and then we have to stop them from breaking the golden rule. And so we stop the city from turning to gold, and then we can go back back to our own time. All right, I'm in. It doesn't seem like I have much choice. No, I don't suppose you do. No, I don't, do I? But I'm hoping that even if you're not burdened with a sense of self-sacrifice, you'll at least see the sense in self-preservation. Ah, good point, good point. I'm in. Wonderful. Now, I need you to investigate the city. Talk to everyone. Help them, if it will win their trust. I authorize you to enter private homes and inspect possessions and documents, unless, of course, you're asked to leave. Figure out who the culprit is, and as soon as you have a name, come back and tell me immediately. All right, I'll get started. And one last thing. If I were you, I'd start my investigation by visiting Lucretia at the Shrine of Apollo in the Forum. I heard wailing from there not long ago. Seems like something's not right. Find out what's distressing Lucretia. I'll get right on it. I'll see what I can do. So we gotta tell him the name of the person straight away. And what, he's gonna kill that person? A press tab to check your quest journal and inventory at any time. To see the objective markers for a given quest, click the eye icon up beside it. The Golden Rule, Point of Origin, Vanishing Act. Alright, first things first, let's save the game. Because that was a long conversation, man. Is this game on Steam? Yes, this game is on Steam and on GOG.com as well. 
For what it's worth, this is the GOG version. I, I have the authorization to analyze anyone's items in anyone's property that... Alright, he said to check out the shrine. I don't know where the shrine is, though. It's no doubt unpleasant cooking with such poor ventilation, but Romans probably regard that as their servant's problem. Psst. Yes, Senecia's journal. Okay. Dear diary, today my father suggested I write a diary as a way of keeping myself occupied while we all deal with the sudden and devastating disappearance of my sister. As a dutiful daughter, of course, I shall oblige. The following pages contain my innermost secrets. I know you're reading this, father. I may be young, but do not think me stupid. We're all entitled to our secrets, Sensia. <laughs> Great. You can't take any items, though. Examine. Small vial containing a rudimentary perfume made from Fear flowers and oil. Proof of a degenerate mind. Sculpture of Ares, the Greek god of war, known as the Romans as Mars. So he is missing his beard, man, and his red face paint. Can't steal, or the whole town's gonna turn to bloody gold. On your best behavior, I trust. What now? What's your story, bruh? I'm a legionary of the first Italica, but there's not a lot of fighting down here. So the magistrate has assigned me other duties. I act as the magistrate's right hand man, keeping an eye on his daughters. Uh, daughter, I should say. And the others, and making sure they're all behaving. I also keep a register of new arrivals. How did you end up here? I'm from Liguria, up north originally. I was doing all right for myself. Twelve years into my service, had a nice girl lined up for when it was all over. Not anymore. She's probably figured I'm long gone and moved on by now. I try not to think about it. My commander sent me to deliver a message to Rome. While I was there, I thought I'd do something nice for my girl and pick up a little pendant from a silversmith. That's when the crowd started flooding through the streets, shouting fire. People were screaming, trampling each other. Then some genetric and future chill tried to take advantage of the chaos and pinch my pendant. I remember chasing him through the crowds, down towards the river. And then, nothing. Blacked out and woke up near here. No idea how I ended up floating so far down river. But I'm fortunate to be alive, I suppose. Wait a minute. So he was also floating down the river? And the other the other guy was also floating down the river and he got he got fished out by a stranger. And then he got he, he was also instructed to actually come to the shrine. And the same thing happened to you as well. Like, or to this to, to the character that I'm playing, so uh, there's, uh, there's some kind of link going on here, man. They did burn half of Rome down. The religion was wild back then. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry to hit that. Ah, oh, don't be. As Seneca the Younger said, difficulty strengthen the mind as labor does the body. That said, Centella's disappearance has been more difficult than I'd care to admit. Hmm. What can you tell me about the Magistrate? He's one of the better commanders I've ever had, that's for sure. Good stoic. Lives by Seneca's words. Treat your inferior as you would wish your superior to treat you. Can't ask for much more than that. Fair enough. You know we're out of here. I went around asking the same questions when I first arrived. Never did find a way out. But I learned how to accept my situation. To bear trials with a calm mind robs misfortune of its strength and burden. That's from Seneca the Younger, if you're interested. I better start taking notes. 
that's for you guys, man. <laughs> Write the notes in the Twitch chat or in the Discord. Can I see the citizen register? I don't see why not. Just make sure I get it back by tomorrow. Nice, we got the register of peeps in the town. Okay, here we go. What? Arquila, class commoner, tavern keeper, quarters, tavern in slum. Notes, claims to know a way out. Ooh, there's a lead. Claudia, class, patrician, duty, wife of Malilos, quarters, villa, central, notes, nothing. Decius, class, commoner, duty, merchant, general, quarters, forum, notes. A register of each person in, in the city in alphabetical order. So how many people are there? There's one, there's three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, Twenty-one, or twenty-four. There's twenty-four people that we got a bloody interview, man. This is long. All right, let's just take the item for now, man. That's a headache. Twenty-four people. Sh sure, I'll give it back to you tomorrow. I'm not sure why you said it like that, but whatever. What do you think about the Golden Rule? Well, as I always say, it's kind of like a divine version of the practice of decimation in the Legion. By threatening to execute one in ten men, the idea is to ensure order and discipline among everyone. And it works. If you knew you could be executed because your brother-in-arms is planning a mutiny, well, you'd bloody well watch him like hundred-eyed Argus, wouldn't you? Because your only chance of saving yourself is to stop bad things before they happen. It makes us all responsible for keeping each other in check. It's brutal, of course, but effective. The Legion wouldn't be the most formidable force in the world without you. Are you saying you're in favor of it? Where I'm called, that would be considered collective punishment, which is a war crime. A war crime? Isn't that a contradiction in terms? As Cicero said, in times of war, the law falls silent. Our worlds are very different. That's messed up. <laughs> Seems that way. War crimes. Ridiculous. Remember that some people will probably lie if you not earn their trust. Oh yeah, I've got, I've got to bear that in mind. These, these bum chums... These bum chums might not be telling me the truth. Alright, let's talk about something else. Are you saying you're in favour of it? What's done is done. I was forced to execute my brothers in arms and those memories will always visit me in my sleep. But life is harsh and I've come to accept my lot. As with the golden rule, I don't have any control over it. So railing against it would be like Trying to stop the seasons or the tides. As Seneca the Younger wrote, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. Not to amuse ourselves with either hopes or fears, but to rest satisfied with what we have. Which is sufficient, for he that is so wants nothing. Alright, let's talk about something else. You like? Who are you going to vote for? Not that it's any of your business. But my loyalty is and always will be with Sentius. Unfortunately, I don't think my vote is going to make any difference today. See, Domitius has been going around town, shoring up votes for Maliolus with lies, bribery and intimidation. Domitius? The man's a savage. But he's a gladiator, so people fear and respect him more than they should. Sentius knows about it, of course. But he doesn't have the same rat cunning as Maliolus. This place will be different with that slaze at the helm. But I try not to worry about things I can't change. Alright, so that guy who's telling lies, so that means you can lie. Lying is the, is the one sin that you can do in this place then. <clears throat> Alright, can I help? 
And that's too bad. Isn't that kind of weak? Hey, if you think you can do better, be my guest. But I won't hold my breath. In any case, if you're interested in the election, go and have a chat with Equitia, the Vestal Priestess. She'll be overseeing proceedings. <clears throat> it looks like we do have our first suspect, man. Figure out how to make Melilius deep. What? Okay, can we talk about Centilia? What business is that of yours? I'm looking for her. A lot of people have been looking for her. But it's been three weeks, and we've found nothing. What makes you think you can do better? Sometimes fresh eyes help. It sounds like you don't want me looking for her. No, it's not that. We all care for Centilla. She is... or was... a lovely young woman. But I learned long ago not to dwell on things beyond my control. Or to try not to, anyway. But I don't want to seem obstructive. If you have questions, ask away. So, hang on a second. This Centilla is the Magistrate's daughter. If I'm understanding this correctly. And she's gone missing. And if she's either dead or she's found a way out. If she's found a way out, then... Maybe she's the one who commit the sin? Because when one person commits the sin... The Magistrate has to run... And do the and and do the sacrifice thing where he dies to open the portal to go back in time. So maybe that is the way out. I don't know, man. <laughs> okay, did you notice anything suspicious before she went missing? Let's talk about something. I know what you did to her, love. <laughs> I know what you did to her. Shall we bluff it? Did you notice anything suspicious before she went missing? Centilla was always a kind, well-behaved young woman. I admit, her disappearance really caught me off guard. If anyone knows something, I'd expect it to be Centia, Maliolus, Claudia, or Domitius. But none of them will tell me anything. You might fare better though, I suppose. Ask residents of the villas for clues about Centilla's disappearance. Okay, Dom Domitia seems to be the main the, the, the main culprit, man. The, the main suspect. But usually the main suspect is not usually the culprit, man. It's never usually that easy. <laughs> I bet you turn out to be this guy. Because this guy has the register, man. He has the register of everyone, so he knows who's who. That. Okay, main suspect so far. Dominius, the ex-gladiator, the brute. And this Malinius is the cunning silver tongue. Let's talk about something All right. else. Alright, I'll be going now. Alright. Please keep an eye out for anything that might lead us to Centilla. The Lord talking. <laughs> Gotta be wide awake for this game. The golden statue's whisper. Is proof of a degenerate mind. Why? What do the, do the golden statues whisper to you, like, when you get close? How would you bring up the objective screen? Alright, here we go. Quests, inventory. Flashlight, zip, line handler, citizen register. Denarius. A denarius, a plural denarii. An ancient Roman coin made of silver. Point of origin. I've traveled thousands of years into the past. I'll need to find a way back to my original timeline somehow. Create a time paradox. According to Sentius, I'll be flung back to my own time if I can create a paradox. I'll need to change history in a way that makes my being in the past impossible. For example, Sentius says, if I prevent that the sin that breaks the golden rule, then he'll never create the portal, 
and it'll be impossible for me to be in the past, a paradox. Figure out how to return to your original time, redundant. The Golden Rule. Okay, this city lives in fear of a mysterious law called the Golden Rule. Figure out who is most likely to break the Golden Rule and inform Sentius. It seems everyone in the city is going to die because of one person breaking the Golden Rule. I need to figure out who it is. To that end, Sentius asked me to talk to everyone and help them. If it'll win their trust, he also authorized me to enter their homes and inspect their possessions and documents if necessary. Option. Tell Sentius, Sentius you suspect Domitus. Domitus has been intimidating voters into voting for Melelius. Hmm. The Vanishing Act leads. Hey, Raven O Torain, what's going on, man? Thank you for that sweet follow. <clears throat> Santilla, the magistrate's youngest daughter, has disappeared in mysterious circumstances, but how does someone go missing in a city with no exits and no crime? Figure out what happened to Santilla. Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah, hell yeah! Thank you, as we follow, man. I can't believe you pronounced all or rain right on the first try. Did I? And welcome to the stream, man. It's good to see you, my friend. I'm guessing you've played this game before. This is my first ever time playing the game. I'm looking forward to how how this is going to play out. This looks like it's very, very... Uh, it's, it's got a very, very thick plot, man. So I'm, I'm looking forward to uncovering this slot. <clears throat> I overheard... Aradius accused Domitus of some involvement in Centila's disappearance. <laughs> Dying gods. Something's wrong at the Shrine of Apollo. Yeah, so that's where the Magistrate asked us to look. Find out what's distressing Lucitia. Democracy in action. It's election day and Malilus is hoping to oust Sentius as Magistrate. I'll need to stop him, somehow. Figure out how to make Malilus drop out of the election. Yeah, you love this game. You're curious to see how other people approach it, so I'll try not to spoil anything. No, please, no spoilers, please. Definitely no spoilers. Uh, figure out how to make Malilus drop out of the election. I'll need to dig up some dirt on Malilus somehow. Meet Malilus. Alright. Mm. On your best behavior, I trust. Oh, you don't need to worry about my behavior, bro. Ooh, sexy uh, lady, this yeah. Place has become a thoroughfare. A thoroughfare, huh? Yeah. And we can hit that ass nice and thorough. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Let's see what she's got to say for herself. I wish Horatius would stop letting barbarians in here. What do you want? I want you to take off your clothes, lady. <laughs> What's your story? I'm Sentia, eldest daughter of the Magistrate. Oh, damn. But you'd know that if you'd been invited in here and introduced properly. What are you doing in here? And why are you dressed like that? I don't like the way they do uh, us modern people dress. I'm not from around here. Hmm, charming. <laughs> okay. Do you know a way out of here? Oh, what is it with you people? You heard the rumor that my little sister escaped and figure I must know a way out too. Is that it? Well, that's just a stupid rumor. We have no idea what happened to Centilla. I wish you mouth breathers would just leave me alone. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't have been so direct. Alright, uh... Let's talk about something else. Can I help? I don't know. Can you? Can you tell me how a person could have disappeared from a city with no exits and no crime? Was she snatched away by the harpies? When did you last see her? Your father didn't mention any of this when I spoke to him. Any idea why? Sentius, Sentia, Sentila. Why are your names all so similar? You look surprisingly relaxed about your sister's disappearance. Never mind, I don't have any questions. Alright, when did you last see her then? It was three weeks ago. We ate our evening meal together, and I remember she seemed happy. In love. 
We went into our rooms, I went to sleep, and when I woke up, she was gone. That's it. All right, so they were eating dinner three weeks ago. She was happy. She was in love, like Juliet. And then they went to sleep, and she woke up, and they're gone. And she's gone. Damn. All right, she was seeing someone. I think so, yes. But she was very careful about keeping his identity a secret, even from me. Mm. Let me guess. She, she she was sneaking it around with the owl guy, like. And then. <laughs> And then the owl guy had to hang himself or somebody hanged him though. Okay, why is that? Because our father had plans to marry her off, eventually. And even a rumor about her attachment to some mystery man might have ruined those plans. Ooh, so there's the motivation for her to not tell anybody because she's seeing somebody else that her father doesn't approve of. This might be the lead. This this might be it. This might be it. But... Okay. Your father didn't mention any of this when I spoke to him. Any idea why? That doesn't surprise me. To him, it was like a prize cow wandering off from its paddock. Prize he's cow, upset, you know. upset, of course. But he says he's too busy with the election to help look for her. So he's letting Horatius do the heavy lifting. Some good that's done. What a lazy daddy. Okay, is it possible her lover was involved? I don't know. But it's been three weeks since she disappeared and he hasn't come forward. That might speak to a guilty conscience. All I know is, whoever he is, he's still here in the city. Alright, so... They have Sentila was seeing this guy. We need to find out who this guy is. I'm guessing that it might be this this Do Domitus guy, whatever his name was. Okay, Sentius. Sentia and Sentila. Why are your names so damn similar? You really aren't from here, are you? All Roman women are named after their fathers. I think it's their way of branding us. Like cattle to be sold at market. His family name is Sentius. So I'm Sentia because I'm the eldest. And my little sister is formerly Sentia Minor, but she is affectionately known as Sentilla. Hmm, okay. That's how it works, huh? You look surprisingly relaxed about your sister's disappearance. I hope you're not insinuating I'm somehow pleased with her disappearance. Just an observation. Are you? <laughs> Just be caught. Are you? I think you know something you're not telling. Blah. Mm. Let's try the bluff. Let's try the bluff on her. Let's bluff that pussy. Oh, you're awful. Get out of my villa and never speak to me again. <laughs> Shit. Oh, she did not like that, man. Damn. Do I need to ask Horatius to escort you out of here? Get out, you horrid barbarian. You horrid barbarian. Don't speak to me again. What a bitch. So much for me trying to help you out, huh? Can't fault me for having you on the suspect list. Citizen? Hmm, Mr. Sentius, what's going on, man? Ah, you've returned. Do you have any news about your investigation? Can we talk about who's going to break the golden rule? I was hoping to ask you some questions about my investigation. What's your story? Do you know a way out of here? What do you think about the golden rule? Yeah, what's your story, Sextus bro? Sentius Imperiosus is my name. Man has sex oh, in his name. Magistrate is the proper way to address me. Before I wound up here, I was a decurion in the cavalry of Imperial Rome, helping protect civilization from the barbarians. Helping protect civilization from the barbarians. So, before we run up here, he was a decurion of the cavalry of Imperial Rome. What the fuck is a decurion, man? Yo, speak English, man. <laughs> What's a decurion? Oh, boom. 
It's a cavalry officer. I had 30 men under my command. This was my uniform. Why, well, I used to wear it, man. As magistrate, I usually wear a toga. But today, I may need to survive long enough to create the portal for you. So, it seemed prudent. Hmm. That's fair enough. Okay, how did you end up here? My men and I were at the Emporium in Rome as honor guard for a visiting dignitary arriving upriver by barge. Now the port is usually bustling, but just as our guests arrived, waves of people began running toward the river from streets and alleyways in every direction. They were trying to escape a terrible fire. Unfortunately, the crowd sent my horse into a panic and, I remember it, losing its footing by the water's edge. So you washed up the by the river too? I knew, I was waking up on a riverbank not far from here in the company of some stranger. What the fuck? I went looking for my horse and discovered that lonely temple. You can probably figure out the rest. He came the same way as well. That's four people that arrived to this city in exactly the same fucking fashion. <laughs> what is going on with this game? So who was this stranger like? Was it a woman? Was it the same person that woke that woke me up? Like? Oh boy. One thing that connects people so far is the Rome fire and the river lady here. Karen. Yeah. They all seem to they, yeah, they all seem to be running from something. They land in the river, they get washed up in the river, and this Karen lady wakes them up. Assuming, but we haven't had confirmation that's the same person waking them up. Um, or that it's even oh that it's even a female. We just know that somebody wakes them up that. How did you come to be magistrate? I was elected seven months ago, uncontested because of my command experience. Since then, there's been growing agitation for another election. They're supposed to be annual, but I agreed to hold it sooner, hoping it would placate my constituents. Unfortunately, it just seems to have emboldened certain elements instead. Karen, maybe this goddess. Maybe. Who knows? Okay. How did you come to be magistrate? So he's been here for seven months. He said, like. Let's talk about something else. Very well. Can we talk about who's going to break the golden rule? I was hoping to ask you some questions about my investigation. Ask them. Do you have any suspects? No. These questions will be available later. Good. Now, was there something else you wanted to discuss? Can we talk about who's going to break the golden rule? Of course. What is it? I think I know who it is. Never mind. I need more time to investigate. Why then did you say... Oh, it doesn't matter. It looks like you'll have to continue your investigation. Now, was there anything else you wanted to ask? Mm, do you know of a way out of here? What do you think about the Golden Bull? I've had plenty of time to think about it. Let me see if I can sum up my thoughts. I've always considered my guiding star to be the well-being of the Roman people. Guiding star? Our survival and prosperity have always hinged upon honoring the peace of the gods. The sacred accord between the gods and the people of Rome. Give the gods what they want and we all prosper. Dishonor them and we all die. It's as simple as that. The real enemy in this place is not the golden rule, but human failings. The temptation to slide into degeneracy, greed, and hubris. I trust that answers your question. Hmm. Do you know how to get out of here, bro? If I did, I'd have let these people out of here already. Fair point. I'd better get back. Thank you. I'll be waiting here for news. Who's 
this stranger? What were you two talking about? Sorry, what? I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't play dumb. I saw you. Having a shady little chat with old man Sentius up on his balcony. What's he offering you? Money? Favours? What's your vote worth to him? He wasn't trying to buy my vote. We weren't talking about the election. <laughs> What's it worth to you? The spit of a fauna career. We've lined up all the votes we need already. Mark my, my words, Maliolus is going to be magistrate by the end of the day. And if I tell him you sided with that feeble old has-been, that you've been trying to undermine his hard-won victory, you'll have picked the wrong patron. Got it? So this must be Domitus. Uh, okay, I don't want any trouble. I don't care about the election. I wasn't thinking of interfering, but now I am. I don't care about the election. Good. Then stay out of it. Nobody likes Caput Murde foreigners interfering in an election. Thanks for the warm walk. I'll be going now. Fine. Mind if I ask some questions? Ah, uh, can't hurt. What's your story, man? The name's Domitius. You want to get to Maliolus, you go through me. Alright. I'd like to meet Maliolus. Why are you dressed like a gladiator? Why? Because I am a gladiator. That's why. <laughs> because I am a gladiator. That's why. Okay. But you're nowhere near an arena. You want to see me fight? Keep running your mouth, fatuous cunners. <laughs> Do you know a way out of here? When Maliolus wins the election, yeah? This place will change. You won't even want to leave. You'll see. Think about the golden rule. I think it's gone on long enough. And Maliolus is going to put an end to it once he's elected. Ah, so these might be the suspects here, like for sure then. How's he going to do that? Sounds great. Can I help in some way? I'm not sure I can believe that. How's he going to do that? He's going to announce it in his victory speech. Just you wait and see. But that doesn't end the golden rule though, does it? Why can't you tell me now? Because if I tell you, and it gets that, it'll give old man Sentius a chance to interfere in our plans. And we can't have that. No, we can't, can we? Sounds great, mate. How can I help? We've already lined up the votes he needs to win. Just stay out of our way, and we won't have a problem. Hmm. Who are you going to vote for? Maliolus, of course. If old man Sentius can't even protect his own daughter, how can we trust him to protect us? Hmm. And do you know anything about Sentila's disappearance? Listen, I don't abduct women. They come to me. And they keep coming back. If you know what I mean. So let me guess. My hunch was right from the beginning. Sentila's been dating this guy. I think you're hiding something. Yes, subtle. But I think I know what you mean. He's hiding it, man. You don't know Sturkus. I'd like to meet Maliolus. Too bad. He's busy. Unless... No. You don't look like you could afford it. Afford what? I'm glad you asked. See, he's a busy man. And this is an important day. He'll be inside practicing his victory speech for tonight. Left me strict instructions he doesn't want to be disturbed. So if you want to see him, I'll need something valuable in return. Rock Villa, figure out how to get into Maliolus' villa. I'll see what I can do. Isn't solicit soliciting bribes a sin? Bribe? That's such an ugly word. What I'm looking for is more of a, a tribute to me, your soon-to-be patron. <laughs> tribute that. All right, all right, what do you want? I don't know. Something good. I'll see what I can do. Just make it good. I'll be going. Whatever. On. Just remember, I'll be watching. Are 
go back to doing your push-ups, man. Now, let's save the game here, man. I swear, by the, by the time we finish this game, we're gonna have like a hundred save files for this. This person got wrecked. Some of these people are already turned to turn to gold then. Why isn't everybody else turned to gold? Or are they from another dimension? Oh, this is like Bioshock Infinite, man. Nice if there was a map and it will tell you where all the NPCs are that you need to talk to. So you don't get lost. So you don't get start running around in circles. Wait, where was this? And let me see Semper Vigilibante. Always remember they're watching. But how? How are they watching? What the Oh, coin pouch, nice. Okay. No stealing there. Sometimes I, I stare at the great temple on the bluff, and I think, whatever is in there, it has to be important. Ah, a new face. Salve. And Salve. Welcome to a little community. My name's impossible to pronounce for most people, so you can just call me Virgil. <laughs> Virtual. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> the French is Virgil, that. Oh. He forgot to die his hero, this guy. So, what's your story? Well, I'm an architect. Or, at least I was back in Rome. That's probably too grandiose a term to describe what I do here. Help out with repairs and try to stop old buildings from collapsing on people. That kind of thing. But you probably don't want to hear about the ingenious architecture or mysterious history of this place. Hmm, correct. Tell me about the city's history. Oh, I'm glad you asked. Some of these shrines were constructed hundreds of years ago, which means Romans have been arriving here for at least that long. But there's one thing that puzzles me. The oldest shrine in this avenue isn't Roman at all. It's Greek. It's Greek? Damn, okay. What's that mean? Isn't it common for Romans to copy Greek art and, ar and architecture? Sure. It could mean that the Romans, who first started building here, were just copying Greek architecture, uh, which they do all the time. Or it could mean that there were Greeks living and worshipping here before the Romans arrived. Which begs the interesting question, who really built this place? And could it be far older than any of us imagine? If only there was a way... We could talk to the people who came here before us. The stories they could tell. Wait, wait, wait. All right. So the oldest, the oldest thing here is Greek. Oh, I'm glad you asked. Some of these shrines were constructed hundreds of years ago, which means Romans have been arriving here for at least. But there's one thing that puzzles me. The oldest shrine in this event. The oldest shrine is Greek. Well, yes, that could be the reason. Or it could mean that there were Greeks living and worshipping here before the Romans arrived. Which begs the interesting question, who really built this place? And could it be far older than any of us imagine? 
If only there was a way we could talk to the people who came here before us. The stories they could tell. Tell me about the city's architecture. Gladly. Personally, my favorite thing about this place is the aqueducts. Those series of adjoining arches. They're an ingenious feat of Roman engineering. With a very practical purpose. They take fresh water coming from outside the city and distribute it all across the chasm. It's funneled below the palace and into a cistern beneath the great temple. Some of it flows down into another cistern beneath the villas. And the rest is funneled to the shrine of Proserpina, where it fills the lake and allows us to fish and farm. All right, so the, so the aqueducts then funnel down to the shrine of Pro Proserpina, which is where we came from, where it fills the lake and allows us to fish and farm. Okay, if they bring water into the city, could we use them to escape? <laughs> under the bridge figure out how to get into the upper sister tell me about the temple on the bluff you mean the great temple this one's a bit of a mystery given the way it's positioned so prominently looking down on us it's clear that whoever built it felt it was the most important temple in the city unfortunately someone else went out of their way to keep its purpose a mystery you see Usually a temple is dedicated to a particular god, like Proserpina, or Diana, or Apollo. Usually, that god is obvious. But in this case, it's unknown. There's an obelisk out the front, which probably used to bear the name of this unknown god. But it appears some barbarian defaced it. And of course we can't get inside because it's locked up tighter than the temple of Saturn in Rome. And that contains the treasury. So we're all left wondering, which god is that temple dedicated to? And could it be the one responsible for the golden rule? Unless somebody figures out a way inside, I suppose we'll never know. Let's talk about something else. Of course. Do you know a way out of here? You wouldn't believe how often the new ones ask that question. But I tell you the same thing I tell everyone else. There are much worse places to live out your days. You might have a few sleepless nights thinking about the golden rule. But once you get used to the fear, knowing that a single slip-up could cost you everything, it's not too bad. Nothing new to me, anyway. What do you mean? Oh, I just mean I grew up in the Batavi tribe, far to the north in Novio Magus. And learned to expect a bit of hostility. They weren't nearly as tolerant as the Romans. What do you think about the Golden Rule? Some people say it's divine. The work of a god. But I'm not so sure. It just seems so... flawed to me. Like it's distinctly... human. I mean, once you've been here long enough, you'll notice people doing things that just seem so wrong to you. But this so-called god doesn't seem to care. Which means one of two things. Either you don't know the difference between right and wrong, or this unknown god doesn't. And I'm pretty sure I know the difference. Do you? Mm. I think so, yeah. Good. Then I'll hope you'll agree that there are only two ways of dealing with unfair rulers. The first is to leave. The second is to remove the ruler from power. And it seems leaving may not be an option. Hmm, I hear you. How do you remove a god from power? That's dangerous talk. Are they talking about removing Sentius? Good question. It's best if I say no more, but... I hope you give it some thought. I noticed the graffiti. What does it mean? Oh, it means someone thinks I'm a sinner and that I'm going to break the golden rule. Why does someone think that? Look, 
I haven't done anything wrong, if that's what you're thinking. Somebody just has a problem with my preference for male company. Uh, so you like men? Hey, nothing gets by you, huh? Sorry, that was mean. <laughs> yes, I like men. And when you grow up in the house, <laughs> as I did in the city of Novio Magos, you expect a bit of hostility. The Batavi are not known for their tolerance. I saw enough friends killed but to man. Away to know the cost of not keeping your personal affairs to yourself. So I hit who I was for, what was it, nearly ten years? Watching what I said and where I looked. But that kind of fear eats away at you slowly, until living isn't any better than the thing you were afraid of. Needless to say, since I'm now living underground, halfway across the known world with an assumed name, my openness didn't go down well among the enlightened folk of the Batavi. Mm. I'm guessing he also wound up in a river and floated down the sea. In any case, the Romans are far more accepting and among them, I get to be who I am. Or at least, I thought that was the case. It seems I was wrong. Hey, do you know who's writing the, the graffiti? Uh, it's not just graffiti. I have quite a collection of handwritten notes too. The strange thing is, I keep my personal affairs to myself. I've never really been interested in any of the men here. Not my type. So I'm not sure what I could have done to upset this person. If I had to guess, I'd say it's probably one of those cultists. Cultists? Strange bunch. They insist there's only one God, and that he considers my nature a sin. Can you believe that? If there are any of them here, they won't admit it. Not since they supposedly burned down half of Rome last year and went into hiding. All I know is, if these threats keep escalating, eventually my secret admirer is going to cross a line and break the golden rule. Hmm. Let me look into it for you. Oh well, I'm sure it'll sort itself out. Let's look into it for a minute. Really? I... I didn't expect that. But thanks. It's always a pleasure to meet someone so selfless. I'm glad you arrived when you did. I'd start by figuring out who the cultists are. Or maybe ask around among the merchants here. Someone who lives or works in the forum must have seen something. But if you find them, please don't hurt or humiliate them. I suspect they're just confused. I'll get right on it. Come back and let me know what you find. Okay, optional. A Roman anvil, it looks odd without a horn, but that must be more modern a more modern innovation. A pair of bellows used for blowing air into the furnace to help raise the heat. A Roman fire shovel made of bronze, it smells like ash. Wait. You can spin this around. Why not? Use a renote to examine. Virgil, do you really want to be responsible for the sin that destroys us all? Traveler 
from a faraway land. Are you, my friend? Greetings, I'm Georgius. It gladdens me to see another foreigner in our midst. We must stick together, you and I. And I must say, my sartorial friend, your clothing is most extraordinary. Most Leather extraordinary. boots in place of sandals, trousers with precise stitching, and such a curious design. I have traveled distant trade routes from the markets of Damascus to the farms of India, and never have I seen anyone dressed quite like you. Tell me, I must know, from which exotic part of the world do you hail? Um, my nation doesn't exist yet. <laughs> I'm from beyond the edge of the known world. You'd never believe me if I told you. And now you have me more intrigued than before. But since it appears you do not wish to share, I will wait until we are better friends. We will have much time here to get to know one another. But for now, do you require assistance? I know you do not require clothing, so information perhaps? Yeah, what's your story, bruh? My story? How kind of you to ask. I am a tailor and I run the humble shop in the forum. Well, that explains why he's so obsessed with the clothes I'm wearing. Hey, why set up a tailor shop here then? You mean to say, with all the turmoil and terror of the golden rule and so few customers, why bother setting shop at all? Exactly, bruh. I'll tell you, it is precisely because of the golden rule that I wish to remind my friends of the importance of looking one's best. I say, the more of our customs we preserve down here, the more we can preserve a semblance of normality, the better our chances of keeping our heads. Don't you agree? Uh, I don't know. I'd just say fair enough. How did you end up here? A good question. A very good question indeed. And I would be happy to tell you if only I could remember it clearly myself. <laughs> Let me guess, you washed up on a river, man. Why don't you tell me what you do remember? Hmm. I remember I had just been to Rome to sell an extraordinary selection of wares. And droning in coin, I decided to celebrate my success. I rented a prestigious villa by the Tiber, invited over a few select friends, and we began making our way through some of the most exquisite wine money could buy. Quite a lot of it, in fact. Now, I have had visions and awoken in strange places before. I have even found myself naked in the desert sands more than once, but <laughs> none of that compares to this. This time, I remember people screaming, then falling into a void as empty as time before creation, gasping for air, and then nothing. When I regained my faculties, I was lying naked by the banks of the Tiber, gods know how many miles from my villa. So you floated down the Tiber? Indeed. I'm lucky I was carrying a little extra weight. <laughs> I believe it kept me afloat. In any case, it seems I'd been rescued and resuscitated by a benevolent stranger. Exactly the I same went shit. I firewood for his campfire, stumbled across a cave, and discovered that trapdoor temple. And here oh. I am. Oh, so he got... He... The stranger that found him was a male then. That's not always the same person. That... Okay, let's talk about something else. I went to find firewood for his... His campfire. That's a male then. Stumbled across a cave and discovered the trapdoor temple, and here I am. Alright. Let's talk about something else. Anything you like. But do you know a way out of here? Shh! Not so loud! What are you playing at? <laughs> Sorry, did I say the wrong thing? Have you not been told about the last attempt? Nope. Last attempt? Oh, then I suppose this duty falls to me. Ah, it is a long story. Oh, please do tell. It's not like as if I'm going anywhere. Aha, you are witty. I like that. Witty? Of course, the first question any of us asks when we first arrive is, how do I escape? It is only natural after all. And scaling the chasm wall Make is sure out of the question, for it shrine. is simply too it's steep going to too far. At any moment. But as they say, if the wind fails, use the oars. And here, the second option is to leave the way we came in, through the shaft above the bathhouse. See, 
The shaft is quite high, but if one gathered up enough wood, one could make a series of ladders and climb one's way out. Hmm. Why hasn't anyone done that? They have. I am getting to that. There was an attempt made by resourceful fellows who lived here some years ago. They even decided to keep records of their escape attempt for posterity. Unfortunately, as soon as they began to carry the first ladder down the hallway, they heard a godlike voice shake the entire city, and that, tragically, is where their tale ends. So it seems that to merely attempt escape is to invite the wrath of whichever god oversees this place, and so I say it is best to not even discuss it aloud. Daniel. What do you think about the Golden Rule? Ah, yes. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. As a Greek, this is nothing new to me. It is how our gods operate. They look. How they operate. Why do you even say that? Have you not heard the tale of the god Hades? He was the first to learn this dreadful lesson when he abducted Persephone and imprisoned her in the underworld. When Demeter, the mother of Persephone, learned of this, she did not punish Hades, the guilty one. Instead, she changed the climate of Earth so that it became hot and dry. Nothing grew. The grain turned to empty husks and the rivers dried up. Innocent people died by the tens of thousands until at last the other gods were forced to act lest they have no worshippers left. So yes, we know this rule. This has always been the case. The golden rule has merely brought it into focus. Hmm. What can we do about it? If we are to survive, I say we must each keep the simple wisdom of Thales of Miletus, first of the seven sages of Greece, who said, Avoid doing what you would blame others for doing. <laughs> Avoid doing what you would blame others. Oh, that is funny. It sounds simple enough. Easier said than done, as with everything in life, man. Regrettably, I think you are correct, my friend. For even if 99% of us adopt this principle, that will never be enough. Sadly, no matter how well we protect ourselves, the life's work of many good people can be undone in the blink of an eye by a single selfish act. I know, I've seen it happen. Ah, the voice of experience. I am sorry for your loss, my friend. But on a lighter note, I will say one thing for the Golden Rule. For all their grim and haunting poses, these golden statues do make magnificent models for my clothing. Do they not? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you gonna vote for? That, my friend, is quite the dilemma. But after some reflection, I'm leaning toward voting for Maleolus. I do not enjoy the thought of another visit from Domitius if I voted the wrong way. Hmm. Anything I can do to change that? Nothing comes to my mind, my friend. Hmm. Any idea who's threatening Virgil? This is troubling, is it not? I'm afraid I have no idea. It is ridiculous, though. Virgil is a fine man. But my young friend Fabia confided in me that she saw someone leaving graffiti on his shop front last night. Perhaps you should ask her about it. Friend Fabia. All right. I hope that our paths cross again soon, my friend. Let's go into his home. Eyes for coloring clothing, these appear to have been extracted from plants and insects. So, killing insects and plants is not a sinner. Who is this? A new face. Ave, and may Vesta watch over you. I'm Equitia. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? Mm hmm. A kiss, huh? Mm. What's your story, girl? Oh, my. I take it people.
people are quite direct where you're from. I suppose it's quite charming in its own way. Usually, however, you wouldn't simply march up to a Vestal priestess and without due formality or courtesy ask, what is your story? A Vestal priestess? Sorry, what should I have done? The proper approach would be to arrange an introduction through a mutual acquaintance in high office. That's long. By which time, you would already know how to address me. And then, you would find a way to satisfy your curiosity rather more indirectly. But to be honest, I've often thought what an unnecessarily formal way to communicate that is. So, let's do it your way. You just keep being yourself and ask whatever you like. It'll be a refreshing change. I think she likes me. <laughs> How did you end up here? Yeah, what's a Vestal Priestess stuff? You know, I'm not entirely sure. But what about you? How did you end up here? Young woman named Karen dragged me out of a river unconscious and sent me in here. Karen, you say? And nothing about that name seemed odd to you. Older name, but not uncommon where I'm from. It carries negative connotations where I'm from. I think I see where this is going. It's an older name, but not uncommon where I'm from. Older. I see. Hmm. I wonder if... No. What were you going to say? Come on, spit it out. I apologize. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just that you've got me thinking. About what? Have you spoken with any of the others? About how they arrived here too. I really think you should. Go around and ask them what they remember. And see if you notice any patterns. I've already noticed those patterns, girl. You're being a bit coy. I know, I know. I just don't want to see what happened to Livia happen to you too. Livia? What happened to Livia? I may have already noticed a pattern. You have. It? Some people mentioned a river. Some people mentioned an encounter with a stranger on a riverbank. Mm, yes, I also Great. had such an encounter. What else? Tell a quitter some people mentioned a stranger. Some people mentioned a river. Yes, I understand many of our friends were carried here by a river current. What else? That's all I've noticed so far. Some common things <clears throat> there. But I think we'll need at least a few to ensure we're not just seeing coincidences. Keep asking people how they wound up here. I don't want us to rush to any conclusions yet. Livia's fate weighs heavily on my mind and dictates we should be sure. Yes, you should ask the others first. And do you know a way out of here? I don't, I'm afraid. It seems to me we're exiled here until the gods judge us, one way or another. What do you think about the Bolden Rule? I'm quite sure it's the work of the gods, which is strange because they've never been particularly concerned with our misdeeds, as long as we've kept the peace of the gods. We ask for blessings, for good health, bountiful harvest, military victory, and in return, we offer praise, wine, incense, or animals. But here, it seems they require much more of us. I find myself reminded of an especially pertinent tale from our great poet Ovid in his epic, Metamorphoses. Would you like to hear it? It is rather long. Metamorphoses? Why not? I have the time. I think I've heard, heard it before, but let's still... Wonderful. It goes like this. Baucis and Philemon were an old married couple living a humble life in a small town. One night, the town gets a visit from a couple of vagrants. They go from door to door, asking for a place to stay the night. Of course, being vagrants, they're turned away sharply from house after house, a thousand in all. Until finally, they come to the little cottage where Baucis and Philemon lived. Now, the kind old couple had very little to offer, but nevertheless, they invite these strangers into their house and offer them food, wine, and a place to stay. Immediately, the guests make themselves at home. They begin gulping down the old couple's wine, so much so that Baucis, the old lady, begins to worry they're going to run out. 
And then she notices something strange. Her wine pitcher keeps refilling itself, as if by magic, realizing only a select few possess such powers. Says to her husband, Philemon, I think these men are gods in disguise. Immediately, the couple begins apologizing for offering such coarse wine. And the vagrants metamorphosize and reveal themselves to be Jupiter, the king of the gods, and Mercury, the trickster god. They confide they didn't mind the meager offerings. They were just pleased that someone in the town offered them hospitality. Then Jupiter says to them, You have passed our test, but everyone else in this city failed. So we are going to destroy this place and everyone in it, except you, who we will grant a wish. So old Baucis and Philemon escape up into the mountains safely, and they receive their wish, which is for eternity together. Meanwhile, Jupiter carries through with his threat and wipes that city off the map. Some say the moral of that story is that we must all honor the sacred rituals of guest friendship, the reciprocal obligations owed between hosts and guests. But I like to think it's that we should always show compassion for those less fortunate than ourselves. Hmm. I agree. Or perhaps it's that gods might kill you at more at any moment for failing their test and they don't even have to tell you what the rules are. <laughs> A cynic philosopher might take that view, but it's not entirely invalid, I suppose. Okay. What's the status of the election? It must be completed by dusk, just the same as any other official business. It'll be between Sentius, the incumbent, and Maliolus, the challenger. Why do you ask? Who's allowed to vote? All of the male citizens who are willing and able to attend. Only the and male citizens can vote. Course. Can I vote then? The women can't vote? Well, you're not a citizen yet. So... No, I'm afraid not. But if it's any consolation, there are other ways to influence the outcome of an election. Such as? By using whatever gifts the gods gave you. Nothing untoward, of course. What's your role in the election? I'm responsible for announcing it and making sure the procedures are followed. Can I nominate another candidate? You can. Assuming they're eligible and willing to accept the nomination. We start the election now? As I said, I'm planning to hold it before dusk. But I suppose I could hold it sooner, if there's a good reason. I just want to get it over and done with. Holding it early may prevent conflict between the voters. Hmm... Can't prevent conflict between the voters. Ugh, never mind. As you wish. Let's talk about some males. Certainly. I've been asking people how they wound up here. And did you notice anything? A pattern? That's mm. what I've noticed. There are definitely some common threads there. But I think we'll need at least a few to ensure we're not just seeing coincidences. Mm. Keep asking people how they wound up here. I don't want us to rush to any conclusions yet. Livia's fate weighs heavily on my mind. Yeah, who is Livia? Dictates, we should be sure. Yes, you should ask the others first. Want to ask about Livia now? Come back to me once you've acquainted yourself with the rest of our neighbors. Citizens, it is time. Let us meet to elect our magistrate. Hang on a minute, it's gone dark now. Does this game actually have a time time cycle? Lucretia. Person has been turned to gold. Statue of Apollo. A large stone statue of Apollo, the Roman and Greek god of disease and healing, among other things. The locked pillar. 
Domitus has denied me access to Maliolus's villa. I'll need to get creative if I want to get inside. Water under the bridge. To the sinner. Ask the merchants in the forum for clues about Virgil's secret admirer. Vanishing act. Figure out what happened to Centila. Ask residents of the villas for clue about Centila's disappearance. I overheard Horatius accuse Domitus of some involvement in Centila's disappearance. The common thread. Ask residents about their story to identify at least three common threads. I need to listen to the stories of everyone who tell me. Once I figure out what they have in common, I should return to Equita. The common thread. This city lives in fear of a mysterious lord called the Golden Room. Something's wrong at the Shrine of Apollo. Find out what's distressing Luc Lucretia. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, here we go. It's time. The election's on. What are you doing in here? Can't you see this woman is dying? She's been poisoned. Oh, she damn. needs the resin of a plant called Silphium. But that Kulas Kubolates Decius won't give it to me. Sorry, I wish I could help. Try to persuade Decius to hand over the Selfium razor. It's too late. She just slipped away. I was hoping to chat. Did I come back later? What happened? She was poisoned. She came in here frothing at the mouth. Normally I'd treat her with resin of Silphium, a rare plant which is perfect for this sort of thing. And I knew Decius had some at his market stall, right around the corner. So I ran over there, but he just looks at me with this evil smile and says, That'll be a thousand denarii. There was no way I could afford that, and he knew it. Then that toad shrugs and says, Supply and demand. I guess you don't value your friend's life that highly. Ooh. Anywhere else, I'd just pay a thug to steal it from his stall. But there's no way I can do that down here with the golden rule. So all I could do is come back here and just watch her die. I kept on apologizing. And Rough. now I'll never know who poisoned her or how they managed to do it without breaking the golden rule or why she cursed that snake's cruel black eyes with her dying breath. Or why she cursed that snake's cruel black eyes with her dying breath. Is there something I can do to help? Well, unless you have the power to bring someone back from the dead, there's really just one thing you can do. Get me that Silphium resin. I'm going to have another patient in here soon. Could be in the next day or in the next hour. And I will not allow this to happen again. I don't care how you get it, but you have to make it happen. Because if I lose another patient this way, I swear to the gods below, not even the golden rule will stop me from marching up to that Genetricum Fututo and scratching his eyes out. Ooh, shit. Tell Sentius you suspect a Lucretia. Hmm, that's dangerous talk. I'll get right on it. I'll see what I can do. That's dangerous then talk. Then you'd better get me that Silphium quickly, hadn't you? Feeling all right? Oh, what's your story, girl? I'm Lucretia, and I'm going to be straight with you. I'm not a physician. This is Navia's clinic. I've just been filling in ever since she disappeared. I'm tired and out of my depth and you miserable too? all the time. But I'd rather take this on myself than let one of you lot mess it up. How did you end up here? My husband and I moved to Rome from Caesarea. He embraced the Roman way more than I would have liked and turned into an awful philanderer. I would have divorced him and demanded the return of my dowry, but I knew he would sooner have me killed than give me my right. So I waited for the right time to take what was mine and disappear. And then the fires came. 
As he prepared to evacuate our villa, I gathered our most precious belongings, coins and gemstones, and the moment his back was turned, I ran. I could barely see for the smoke, and the streets were full of people trampling each other. I ran for the river, like everyone else, and leapt in. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. What the hell? All of a sudden he's back to the shrine to use his portal again. What's going on? What the hell happened, man? Hilarious. He's all the way over there. How am I supposed to get there? Bodied. You are dead. Continue from last day. <clears throat> Is there like a time limit in this game? You gotta solve. You gotta find out who's gonna who's gonna break the golden rule before the end of the day. I can't move. If I go this way, I don't know what happened, man. I was just talking to people, and then all of a sudden, like, God have mercy. Gotta be a way out of here, man. Shit, man. I'm stuck. There we go. No items. Sentius back to the shrine and use his portal again. Salve, friend. Mind telling me who you are and why you look like you've just taken on a gladiator and lost? I'm ultimate level 20. We've had this conversation uh, before. I don't think so. I've never seen you before in my... Your name is Galerius, and you're about to offer to take me to Sentius so he can tell me about the Golden Rule. Oh, I guess how much did I drink last night? Uh... Actually, I wanted to talk to you again. No problem, see you later. Actually, I wanted to talk to you again. Of course. What did you want to know? What do you think about the election? Uh, I can't see how I could vote for either candidate. I don't like Sentius much, but Maliolus is almost as bad. Even I could do a better job. Me, a farmer. And I've never given a speech or put on a toga in my life. 
I'll be going now. <laughs> See you around. That's one way through here. You, Sisyphus, attack or pursue the stone that always returns. Salve! Handsome. Yeah, you like me, huh? Yeah. Mm hmm. I like her. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, oh, you're here. I'm so glad you decided to visit. I'm Aurelia, and uh, I hope I'm not being too forward, but the moment I laid eyes on you, I was intrigued. Yeah, You're not I seem like to have that effect on the ladies. I've ever seen. You seem so refined, so civilized. Civilized. Oh, stop it. No, please go on. And you're as charming as you are beautiful. Ugh, coming on a bit strong, don't you think? What? You came on to me? <sighs> I take back what I said. Suddenly, I don't find you so intriguing anymore. Let's just forget that ever happened, so we can at least do business. So, what brings you to my tavern? What a bitch. What's your story? Ugh, let it go. Nothing's going to happen between us. You know a way out of here? You know, normally, I'd expect you to buy me a drink before asking if I want to get out of here. Uh, I was asking about an escape from the city. I guess that went right over your head. Never mind. As a matter of if fact... If it's on you, then what? I this woman is mad. Out. I'm happy to tell you all about it, but this is valuable information we're talking about, and I don't just give it out like some cheap oracle. So, how badly do you want it? Is it worth, say, a thousand denarii to you? Tell me what I'd be by. Well, I can't tell you too much, or you'd figure it out for yourself. But I promise you, you'll never have to spend another hour in this city ever again. You have a way out. Why haven't you used it yourself? Simple. It's a one-way trip, and I'm not ready to go just yet. I like my life here. One day, maybe, but not now. Isn't it kind of unethical to keep all these people trapped in here knowing there's a way out? I think of it this way. I have something of value, and I'm willing to share it for a price. That's not unethical. That's just good business. Now, do you want it or not? Hmm. How do I know this isn't a scam? If I took your money without giving you what I promised, I'd be breaking the golden rule, wouldn't I? And I have no interest in doing that. I don't have that kind of money right now. Well, perhaps you could take out a loan. I understand Maliolus has lent money to others, on occasion. What do you think about the golden rule? Heard any interesting gossip? Certainly. For ten denarii. Let's talk about something Whatever else. you like. Yeah, yeah, she seems to be... I'll be going now. All She's right. a bitch. See ya. She's just a bitch. Back again. Couldn't stay away, huh? Hmm, what do you think about the golden rule? I just try not to think about it. Drink helps with that. As the saying goes, to drink is human. So we drink. Typical. All right. See ya. You stay away from my money. A large vat for brewing beer. There's a layer of small insects drowning on the surface. Ugh, this is nasty. The brass has been polished into a rudimentary mirror which has been used for applying makeup. I 
If you want me to slip some hemlock into your next drink, get out. <laughs> hemlock. Oh, do us all a favor and drink hemlock, Caput Murder. Caput Murder. Cerberus lifts his triple head and lets out his threefold braying. Livia, would you stop muttering like Medea over a cauldron? You'll scare away my customers. They follow their trades, imitating their previous lives, but they are ignorant. This again. You're in a world of your own, aren't you? So this is Livia. Just as the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, so this place accepts all the souls. But it does not notice the crowds that come. Mm, what's your story, lady? The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Some crowd the forum, some the house of the ruler of the depths. Others follow their trades, imitating their previous lives. I'm sorry, I have no idea what that means. They never do. You know a way out of here? There is only a downward path, gloomy with fatal yew trees. It leads through dumb silence to the infernal regions. Oh. Help me. You cannot help me. I have seen things. A pattern, a terrible pattern. It is better for you if you remain ignorant. Pandora's box must stay closed. Oh, let me open the box. I'll say no more. Pandora's box. Figure out why Livia is acting strangely. I think she's figured out uh, the certain river pattern as well. She mentioned rivers as well. Like, what do you think about the Golden Rule? The bloodless shadows. This is their punishment. Bloodless shadows. Can you tell me about the pattern you saw? You think you wish to know, but you do not. It is better for you if you remain ignorant. And all the newly arrived are ignorant of the road before. Wait, so she's no help either. Oh, do us all a favor and drink hemlock, Caput Murder. Caput Murder. Graffiti. Caveat emptor. Let the buyer beware. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Money. Roman shoes. Galeris' chest. by Galerius. Oh, this is where we came and actually stole the seven dinars in the first game. Who's whispering? Rufius's chest. No, from Kabashash. A dream diary from Kabash in which he describes his recurring dreams about a stranger named Kurti. Kabash to Kabash. I told Lucretia about the dreams I've been having, and she said it might help her divine. It might help her divine their meaning if I wrote them down. It happened again last night. The man by the river was there, as always, his face shrouded in shadow from the peculiar ram my headdress. Once again, he introduced himself as Curti and told me he'd drag me from the river. What? He seemed to smirk as he said his name, as if it meant something. I could not understand. Indeed, the name rings a bell, but I cannot for the life of me remember where I heard it. 
I do not think I will sleep soundly again until I know who is Curti. So a man named Curti pulled this guy out, pulled out Kabash from the river. And for us, it was somebody called Karen. Hmm. Strange old vase painting with his, uh, geometric shapes. It's definitely not Roman. I wonder where it came from. Greek lion carving. through their eyes. Ah. Some kind of possession going on then. That's how then Sisyphus attack or pursue the stone that always returns. Galerius for magistrate. Countered by I would rather drink or a fellow special brew. Here's the sun starting to set. Time is now 1.20 in the morning. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna save the game here. And call it a session, my sweet people. I hope you guys have enjoyed the show. This wraps up part one of our blind run of the Forgotten City on the PC on maximum settings in stereoscopic 3D. And I'll be seeing you sweet people in part two real soon. So until then, do take care of yourselves. Oh yeah.